What's going on guys? Um, I'm going to show you what a typical Sunday in the off season looks like for me. started a little tradition of uh, getting these or something along these lines every morning because I need to put on weight and I need to put on muscles and grow muscles and get stronger and get a bigger beard. Um, so this helps with all of those goals. Broad Street Donuts. And they are amazing as they look. So they got different toppings, uh, crazy different toppings, specials every day, new donuts every day. Um, it's in Oakhurst, New Jersey. So we got a bunch of different kinds here. I'm going to eat after breakfast. And I'm going to show you um, a couple other things I do on Sundays. And we're going to train, of course, at some point. And uh, I, don't know, I think it's cool to kind of see what guys do besides lift weights because if you're defined just by that then I think that's pretty lame um, so stay tuned and I'll show you uh, some other things I like to do with my life besides lift weights and drink protein guys, Nick here from Universal. Uh, we're at the AHS Tint Falls location. Um, it's one of the shelters that I recently signed up to volunteer at. Just wanted to show you guys something that I do outside of bodybuilding. Um, something that I'm passionate about uh, with dog rescue and uh, promoting adoption, things like that. Right? As, as you can see, very friendly. Um, and it's dogs like this that deserve a good home, you know? Um, there's a lot of people breeding dogs and things like that, and that's a whole other argument to get into. But uh, if you're ever looking for a dog, uh, you can afford it, you can give it enough attention. I just really consider coming out to a shelter and taking a look because there's thousands and thousands of shelters that have great dogs, and I'm like this one that deserve a home. Um, join Definitely, us. do not do not buy a dog. Come to a shelter and adopt. Yeah, she knows the deal. So she's yeah. one of the head volunteers <laughs> here. Um, so she's constantly here taking the dogs for walks. Um, and as you can see, a lot of the pit bulls and stuff get a bad rap. Um, it's 99% of the stuff you hear is not true. But she can attest to that as well. I mean, you deal with tons of pit bulls here, right? Absolutely. And they're all very, very friendly, and it all just depends on how they were raised and things like that. So. Right. It's not the breed; it's the person who 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 throws them up and who you know makes them into a not nice dog or a good dog. But most of them are, are wonderful dogs who have great potential to live with families. They're playful, they love to play with other dogs. They're pretty, they're pretty. As you can see that, you'll see in the footage that they have a bunch of other animals here too as well. Cats, pigs, chickens, uh, goats, right? We have, uh, well, they, they were goats, but now they're really sheep. Uh, they, <laughs> they were the ones that were found were on the goats. side of the parkway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I encourage you to really look into adoption when you're taking a look for a dog. And like I said, make sure you can actually give the dog enough attention uh, before you even consider buying or not. Um, every little bit counts, so if you can't make a, a money donation, if you can uh, come volunteer yourself, dropping off treats, blankets, toys, anything like that. Um, I was taught a lot about rescue and adopting from a good friend of mine, and the main thing she taught me is you can't save every dog, but you can help in little ways here and there, and it adds up, and it really helps. So. Uh, anyone looking to adopt, like I said, come out to Tinton Falls, check out the shelter, check out a local shelter in your area. And thanks so much for, to Nick for uh, his donations today and for being a valued volunteer. And uh, happy holidays to everyone.